Hi everybody, it's One Cast One Fish, and today I'm going to show you how to change the lower unit oil in your Generation 1 Evinrude E Tech outboard. Now, before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of your screen as it'll be greatly appreciated. Now, be sure to check out the description below to get all the pertinent information for part numbers and torque specs you're going to need to complete this job. All right, we're ready to get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get on my rubber gloves. And I like to always wear these rubber gloves when I'm working, especially when I'm dealing with any type of oil, just to keep it off my skin. Now I'm gonna take a little bin and I'm gonna put it up underneath of the outboard lower unit, just like so. So that way there, all that oil that's coming out of the drain plug falls in here and I can collect it so it can be disposed of properly. Our first task is going to be to start draining the old oil out. We're going to take out our Allen keys right here, and I'm going to give you a little hint. These are a number four. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this lower one right here. Pop it off seat, and I'm going to do the same for the upper. All right, once those are popped off, I'm going to take and loosen this bottom one and take it out. That's when the oil is going to start draining. Now after that lower drain plugs out, I'm going to take out the top vent plug and that's going to allow all that oil to drain out of the lower end. As you can see, it's going to take a little bit of time to get that oil out of the lower gear case. So I'm going to take and show you a few other things while that drains. One of the things I want to show you is with these vent and drain plugs, and that's because if you look real close, you'll see a little bit of metallic material there, and that's because these plugs, the ends of them, are actually magnetic. And that there is, so that way there are the gears in the lower gear case, as they're meshing together, small fine particles of metal start to wear off, and these here plugs have this magnetic end, and it's their job to collect that metallic material out of the oil, so that way there you don't add added wear and tear on the rest of the gearbox. Now with that said, a little bit of metallic material on those plugs is to be expected, but if you have an excessive amount of metallic material on those drain and vent plugs, you might want to get your outboard checked out by an authorized dealer because you may have something else going on inside there. Now another really important piece of these drain and vent plugs is right here. You'll see there's a little nylon plastic washer, and we're going to want to take that off and replace it with a new one when we put these drain plugs and vent plugs back inside the lower unit. Now the easy way to get that nylon washer off is take the same Allen key you used to loosen the plug, hold it in one hand, and you're just going to go counterclockwise with the plug, and it'll spin off just like that. It looks like our oil's drained out, so we're going to start filling the lower gear case back up with new oil. Now before I start filling the gear case with new oil, I'm going to take all this old oil, and I'm going to flush it out of this hose, so that way there I have no contaminated oil going into my gear case. Alright, once my hose is filled with fresh new oil, I'm going to attach the connector to the lower drain plug on the lower unit. And it should screw right in. Now we're going to start pumping the new oil back into the lower gear case. Now one thing to remember when we're doing this is to make sure you go nice and slow. And that way there you don't form any air pockets in the lower gear case. Now you might be wondering how do I know when the gear case is full? All you're going to do is look for this vent plug and when oil starts to come out you'll know the gear case is full. All right, you can see we got some oil coming out of the top vent plug. That should mean our gear case is full of oil. All right, now that the lower gear case is full of oil, I'm gonna get a brand new white nylon washer. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it on our upper vent plug. Now I'm gonna show you a little tip to prevent oil from coming out of the lower drain when you remove this fill hose. And that tip is to make sure you always install the upper vent plug first. Now when we install that upper vent plug, we wanna just snug it down in place and we'll torque it down here a little bit later. Now again, before we install the lower drain plug, we're gonna make sure that nylon washer's in place. All right, we're gonna start unscrewing. 
and hope that our oil doesn't drain out of the bottom. We're going to install that drain plug as quickly as possible and get it snugged up so we can torque it down later. Now that it's complete, we're going to take some of our paper towel, tear off a few sheets, and we're going to clean up the air before we torque those down. Once everything's cleaned up, I'm going to move this here drain pan out of the way and put it to the side. Now I'm going to pull off the torque wrench, put the final torque on the vent and drain plugs which in the manual says anywhere from 60 to 84 inch pounds. Now for me, I like to torque mine to about 70 inch pounds, somewhere right there in the middle almost. Alright, once everything's torqued to spec, I'm going to take another paper towel and clean up the area and wipe off any oil that may have fell down the lower unit. Another reason I like to clean the area up really well is to make sure that there's no oil seeping out of any of the vent or drain plugs after I'm finished with the job. And that's all it takes to change the lower gear case oil in your Evinrude E-Tech. Mm -hmm.